Flemish infections are a group of congenitally acquired infections that cause significant morbidity and mortality in these neonates. These infections are acquired by the mother and pass either transplacentally or during the birth process. While each infection is distinct, there are many similarities in how these infections present. It is important to consider torch infections whenever a neonate presents with an intrauterine growth restriction, IUGR, microcephaly, intracranial calcifications, conjunctivitis, hearing loss, rash, heptaplemology, or thrombocytopenia. yellow going on. We need to run some tests for John. Yeah. I need a Billy Rubin and a CT yellow. scan. Yes, Dr. Okay. has a fever as well. Fever as well, all right. Yellow. We're going to have to take the baby for now. We're going to take your baby down to CT, okay? Do you okay? want to hold it real quick? Oh, here's your proud dad. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> What are you doing? I asked you to change Sergeant Tuttle's cat litter. Yeah, I know I did. Now I have to do this. I can't believe you. You know how busy I am. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, Sergeant Tuttle's got a big one. <laughs> I need to wash my hands. <sighs> Developed toxoplasmosis during the time when she changed the litter box. The baby developed jaundice, high fever, and the CT scan showed calcifications in the brain. For toxoplasmosis is a year of antibiotics, which is pyrimethamine. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Well, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Wes. Um, I'm here to tell you that you had syphilis when you gave birth. So as you can see, your what? baby's syphilis. syphilis. So your baby's presenting with a very snotty face, mucus secretions, and a rash. He going to be okay? Actually, with antibiotic treatment, yes. But my baby's still cute, right? No. No, he's not. Kanye. What did you do? Hi, Mr. and Mrs. West. My name's Hi. Leslie. I'm going to be giving your baby the IM penicillin shot. Oh, my poor baby. Oh, it's okay. We're going to take good care of him. Okay. Oh, you know what, Kanye? Hmm. Dr. John told me that I never got my MMR vaccine. I hope it doesn't affect the baby. You better not mess my kid up. What could happen if Mrs. West does not get her MMR vaccine? The baby can develop blueberry muffin, which is a rash. The baby also can develop cataracts and salt and pepper retinopathy. There's no treatment for this symptom, just supportive care. Misery pop. I have places to be. Knock, 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 knock. Come in, Dr. John. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. West. Hi, nurse. Hi. This is my nurse. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. So let's just keep this short and sweet. Since you have herpes simplex 1, 2, and 5, you have to have a C-section. I gotta go take care of another Wait. patient. She'll explain everything. Hi. Hi. How big is the scar gonna be? Oh, it's not gonna be a big scar. Only about three to five inches. Okay, so you're saying because I have herpes one, two, and five, this will prevent my baby from getting it? Yeah, it can help prevent the transmission of them to, oh, your, you to your baby. You tell me. Um, it says in your chart that you were diagnosed in 2003. 
Oh. That was before I knew her. Might have oh. been Ray J. Oh, okay. The T in torch stands for toxoplasmosis. Um, toxoplasmosis is the infection from mother to fetus with the toxoplasma gondii protozoan. Um, it's very difficult to diagnose because there's no symptoms in the mother. Um, transmission occurs, um, the mother can get infected through undercooked meats or unwashed vegetables and fruits, cat feces, it can cause hydrocephalus in the newborn and treatment is spearmycin. So O stands for other infections, such as syphilis, which is a sexually transmitted infection from bacterium. Transmission occurs through sexual contact or breaks in the skin. Um, symptoms are painless red pustule two to six weeks after exposure, and it can turn into a canker. Spontaneous abortion without treatment and infant-born blindness. Deafness are early signs of syphilis. <laughs> Early sign in newborn is bloody nasal drainage. The treatment is IM penicillin. Other infections in the O of torch include hepatitis B, aracella zoster, and herpes zoster. In torch stands for rubella, aka German measles virus. Symptoms are mild flu like symptoms, fever, aches, rash, congenital rubella. Spontaneous abortion, stillbirth, preterm labor, heart and eye defects. Treatments, there is no cure, only supportive care. Prevention is key, vaccination. So the C in TORCH stands for cytomegalovirus. The virus is the silent herpes. Transmission includes contact with infected body fluids, most common viral infection. It causes hearing loss, seizures, and intrauterine growth delays. Um, the treatment, unfortunately, there's no cure, but prevention is key. Practice safe sex. H in TORCH stands for herpes simplex virus. It's an STI virus caused by herpes simplex 1 and 2, transmitted by direct contact. So herpes 1 is oral and herpes 2 is genital. The symptoms don't show up immediately after exposure. However, before an outbreak, you're going to see painful lesions going to have flu-like symptoms. However, it is rare. The treatment includes um, one to two week course of acyclovir and suppressive therapy at 36 weeks. Microcephaly. No, keep going. I'll cut it out. Keep no. going. Okay. Oh, yeah. Keep going. She'll cut it out. Intrauterine growth, okay, right? And then intra intrauterine growth. Oh. Small baby daddy. Is this how <laughs> Brittany Elizabeth. You can't see my hat. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll start over. Here. Brittany Elizabeth, hmm? Logan, what are you doing? Well, you can just like put the baby like right here. And say this would happen. Just be like, this is what. Is it like blueberry? Um, she, the baby will develop blueberry muffin, and there is no treatment for this symptom, just supportive care. All my references in. Yeah, I don't have these, but um, because apparently I lost this. But if we had this. We could just Sorry, read literally Tuttles. off of what she said. Whatever his name was. was right in the middle. Sergeant Tuttle's see, West. She so breaks us. <laughs> yeah, see, we could all just read that. We have to go get the other one. After exposure turns into chan canker. Canker. All just yeah. sitting here yeah. like we're in a mugshot. Maybe you should just be one, one of us at one a time. One of us should just do it. One at a time. One at a time. Okay, so you... Okay. So we're I all thought it was like... cute. Is there more? Oh my god, there's so much. Should I talk about no, that? No, you don't need to. Varicella zoos... <laughs> <laughs> Varicella... R in, 
and Torch stands for AKA. Oh, start over. Again. Oh, 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 I oh, can't. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Flu-like symptoms. Fever. Ashes. Aches. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn over. Okay. Go. I got the whole weekend. I'm terrible. I would never be. I can never be an actor. I can never be an actor. I can never be on video. Okay. So she's response abortion spontaneous. Diagnosis for this. It's treatment. Treatment. Oh my god. Why is there a TX? Treatment. Treatment. I never. I never saw it before. (laughs) Okay. Just finish. Yeah. The cause is hearing loss. Seizure and intrauterine GR. GR. <laughs> Prevention is key. So, my colleague says it's intrauterine growth. <laughs> Back to you, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> Lesions, flu-like symptoms, whatnot, before outbreak. I don't like the way that's worded. Mm-hmm. It is.